Okay, Ants fans, welcome back to my channel. Uh, tonight I'm going to do an um, ex experiment of sorts, and um, then I'm going to talk about the worst mistake that players make. Because I've had a lot of good players um, comment on my videos, and um, so many of them are saying the same same thing, give me the same advice. And I did it completely wrong, and we're going to show you a better way to do it. But first, let's do this little experiment. Um, uh, I've been on my way for a couple of days and busy at work. So all I've been able to do is um, gather uh, materials. Um, but happily, it's been gathering material days for the last three days. So all I did today was gather materials. And I'm going to see how many um, personal rewards I can get for um, uh, the gathering I did today. And then show you the biggest mistake that players make so if you watch my videos before I tell you always watch the calendar um, and if the calendar today is gather sand and, and other materials that's what I'm gonna do so let's go use a large raspberry so we get extra rewards on rewards and now I'm gonna teleport for the purposes of another video so my plan was to come um, up about here and teleport. Confirm. Now, all my crews will come back and give me um, war zone points. So well, let's see. I got 350 diamonds. I got 400 diamonds and 100 creature remains. Now, creature remains are really important for evolutions, and that's something we're going to talk about. So you see, if I take the third shell, you get 3,000 diamonds, 250 creature remains. Now, um, so I got, oh, a couple more, don't I? So 400 diamonds, um, 50 creature remains. I got 400 diamonds and some creature, 200 creature remains. And all I did today was dig sand for um, the entire day. But uh, now, looking in there at the... Um, the war zone rewards you see that uh, you can get all those creature remains and diamonds every day but now the number one mistake that players have tell, told me to make that, that uh, beginners might make is to neglect the evolutions now so let's go downstairs and look at evolutions and uh, oh yeah like subscribe and comment down below helps my channel and we're going to continue um, talking about uh, evolutions now, if we look down under zone develop, you see I've got 38% zone develop, and zone fight, I have uh, 35%. So let's take a look at zone develop. Uh, what the good players are telling me, and I just learned recently myself, is uh, not to neglect zone development, because I knew that I needed to get max advanced rewards, because um, I knew that I wanted to get those extra shells. I was getting those shells a lot, but I couldn't get them. So I got the advanced rewards. Now, you see, if we go all the way down to the bottom is what they're telling me. I didn't see this before. Double rewards is down at the bottom. And to get double rewards, uh, you're going to uh, need to do a lot of evolutions. And what this will do will get you double your war zone rewards. And if I'd known that, I would have done it 100%. And the biggest mistake that players make is... Um, they go after their um, troop strength first, and I did the same thing. Um, I thought it was all about the power of my troops, power of my troops, but my troops would be much better developed. My, my evolutions would be much higher if I had um, taken the advice of these other players. Um, so that's it. That's the biggest mistake um, that most players make, is they neglect their uh, colony evolutions. So, um, now I'm going to show you why I've been neglecting the colony evolutions um, because I'm so close right now to uh, T9 guardian ants and I've trained as a, a, a guardian all the way along and I'm so close to, uh, to get T9 guardian ants next week that I'm going to um, finish this one out all I need is um, 9,000 more creature remains and I can get T9 Guardian Ants, and then I'm going to go back to um, uh, Zone Develop, Zone Develop, Zone Develop. Now, what else you see in, underneath Zone Develop? 
gathering points, hunt, hunting points, building points. Now, see, I, I gathered today, so I got um, four percent extra from the points from gathering, but I can get um, maximum on that up to let's see. Uh, increase 100 percent so I can double my re reward my gathering points rewards just by doing that now um, if you saw the title uh, the, uh, picture of the video and you see I'm giving uh, my account away um, I have a subscriber named uh, John Mark video and uh, he's been with me from day one uh, comment watches all my videos comments and he's been asking me for a video for a long time, and uh, it's about, he wants to know how to make his troops more powerful. And it's so complicated. I'm going to have to drop videos uh, uh, on different topics uh, and explain. But um, John Mark Video, if you're watching, um, I'm going to offer you my farm account. So, um, so let's take a look at, I'll, I'm, I'm going to give you my farm account if you want to come play on the server. Uh, and I'm going to show you down here. Um, this level 22 Spencer let's take a look at the info um, ant hill power 15 million and I can, I can tell you that the uh, pro troops are uh, 2 million and um, I'm going to use um, this hill in a demonstration video my next demonstration video and after that if, you, if John Mark video if you want it um, it's yours um, thanks so much for your support, and uh, if anyone's still watching this video, um, please hit the like button on the way out.